Hey, I'm Joel. I'm Hillary. And you're watching TeamPeople.com. <laughs> <laughs>had the internet in a tizzy after we mentioned in our Nicole Richie and Joel Madden video that the good Charlotte Rocker previously dated Hillary Duff when she was 16 and he was 24. That drop of information alone broke our red flag detector and it hasn't been right ever since. When our RRG besties asked us to look into this relationship a little deeper, we knew we had to step up to the plate and give y'all exactly what you asked for. And we hope you don't mind, but we also threw in some tea about her relationship with the late Aaron Carter. But before we jump into these controversial topics, be sure to pick up something to smack on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of strawberry cheesecake popcorn, beef and bacon jerky, and butter toffee peanuts. You know we love us a good backstory, and in order to give you all the details about Hillary and Joel, we have to take you back to September 28, 1987. Hillary Duff was born in Houston, Texas as the youngest child of Bob and Susan Duff. Sometime around 1993, Hillary, her sister Haley, and their mom moved out to Los Angeles so Hillary and Haley could pursue careers as child actors. Their dad, Bob, stayed behind and held things down for them in Houston. Taking care of the family home wasn't the only thing he was out there doing, but we'll get into that in a bit. So anyway, 13-year-old Hillary landed her breakout role as the main character in the Disney Channel series, Lizzie McGuire. At the time, she was in a relationship with Aaron Carter. They had the typical teenage romance that included holding hands, hugging, going to the movies, and smooching here and there. Later on in his memoir, Aaron implied that he was Hillary's first, but Hillary shot that down and said it was a big old lie. Aaron eventually dumped her for Lindsay Lohan. Then he broke up with Lindsay and got back with Hillary, and then he cheated on Hillary with her best friend. And then Hillary was on to the next. In 2004, 16-year-old Hillary met 24-year-old Joel Madden through a mutual friend. Uh -huh. And we were friends for like three months before we even... Oh, so you're pals first. That's yeah. nice. Hillary told Teen Vogue that Joel was the most respectful boyfriend she'd ever had. She added, we had five or six dates before we even kissed. Joel added that it was the slowest relationship he had ever been in, in terms of things getting physical, but he liked the way things grew organically and naturally between them. Now, we know you're wondering what Hillary's parents had to say about all of this. But how did your parents react? You're almost 18, you're still 17. Right. Um, well, they reacted, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and what did she mean by reacted? If it didn't involve a butt whooping, then we have no idea. Hillary said that eventually her parents were ultimately happy that she was in a relationship with Joel. For a lot of child stars, they become the breadwinners in their families. And in some cases, the dynamics between the parents and the child star cause havoc due to the child star being the one bringing home the bacon. Demi Lovato is one celebrity who has spoken out about how the role reversal led to tension within her family. As for Hillary, her parents had money of their own, since her dad owned several convenience stores and other businesses in the Houston area. So why didn't her parents step up and tell Joel to stay away from their baby girl? Well, perhaps her parents were too busy dealing with their own hot, stankin' mess relationship. Remember how we mentioned Hillary, her mom, and her sister moved to Los Angeles and their dad stayed in Houston? Well, apparently he was out there in the Lone Star State blowing out backs and acting a doggone fool. Her father told Inside Edition he was unfaithful to Hillary's mom, and his affair, plus the distance between them, caused their marriage to erode. Sometime around 2005, they decided to get divorced, and the court proceedings dragged on for over two years. Her dad even got thrown in jail for 10 days after the court found out he sold over $300,000 worth of stocks without the court's approval. After their divorce was finalized, Hillary's mom was awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars in her settlement. Now, back to Hillary and Joel. They tried to keep their relationship low-key for the most part, and it wasn't that hard to do since Joel was a total homebody and content with staying in and watching TV. Hillary told the Love Bomb podcast that their relationship was very intense. She added, It was so all-encompassing. It was my life. It was like every minute of my day. It was pretty major. 
Her relationship wasn't the only thing that was consuming her entire life. She later admitted to Health Magazine that when she turned 17, she was 5'2 and weighed 98 pounds. Because you look amazing. Well, what have you been doing? Thank you. Um, well, I've been exercising, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, not really dieting, just kind of like I have a, a cleaner diet. She was obsessed with every piece of food she ate. Things got so bad that her health deteriorated and her hands would cramp up a lot because she wasn't getting the nutrition her body needed. The constant pressure to look a certain way, despite having a naturally athletic build, wreaked havoc on her life. So, Hillary was young, impressionable, in the spotlight, suffering from body image issues, and involved in a secret relationship with a much older man. Two months before she turned 18, she was finally able to lift some weight off of her shoulders by going public with Joel. After announcing that they were an item, Joel was able to play a bigger role in her career. He appeared in her 2006 movie, Material Girls, and he was a huge influence on many of the songs on her 2007 album, Dignity. Once the cat was out of the bag, Joel wasn't publicly condemned for being much older than Hillary. In fact, the industry embraced their relationship. They posed together for the cover of Teen People magazine and gave a joint interview about the dynamics of their relationship. Joel said he enjoyed spending time with Hillary's mom, even if Hillary was unable to join them. The article also mentioned Joel was very respectful and would always cover Hillary's behind when she bent over in her low-rise jeans. And he credited her for helping him come out of his shell and be more social. As for people who tried to shame him for dating a teenager, Joel said, I didn't care what the press would say. I cared what my mom would say. They also insisted they had the same maturity level, with Joel claiming Hillary was wise beyond her years. They said they felt comfortable with each other, but they were in no rush to get engaged. At the end of the interview, the journalist wrote, Still, Madden let it slip that if he had a daughter Hill's age, he wouldn't let her date a guy his age. When asked about her first time, Hillary later told Cosmopolitan magazine that everyone already knew. I had a 26-year-old boyfriend, so everyone can make their own assumptions about what I was doing. It seems like as soon as they went public and everyone wanted to interview them, the cracks in their relationship started to appear. During an interview with Elle magazine, Hillary referred to Joel's hometown of Waldorf, Maryland as pretty ghetto. And you know how they get down in the DMV. Them folks tore right into Hillary's behind. The residents of the city were outraged, and because the racial makeup of the city is more than 60% black, some couldn't help but to wonder if there was some certain undertones to Hillary's statement. And now that we think about it, knowing more about where Joel grew up kind of explains why he was looking at Megan the Stallion like this, doesn't it? She was forced to issue a statement through her rep that said, Hillary never said any of those negative words to Elle magazine. But that was clearly a lie, and as Hillary sank deeper and deeper into hot water, she fired that rep and hired a new publicist that released a statement saying Hillary's comments were taken out of context. The new rep added that when Hillary said the words, pretty ghetto, she wasn't referring to the entire city of Waldorf. She was only referring to an apartment complex Joel used to live in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, in November 2006, which was about a year after they went public with their relationship, 19-year-old Hillary and 27-year-old Joel called it quits. Well, to be more precise, Hillary dumped him. Imagine being close to 30 and getting dumped by a teenager. Child. A month later, Joel was in a relationship with Nicole Richie, and you can check out all the juicy details about their relationship in the video linked for you in the description box. While Joel jumped into his rebound relationship, that's still going strong today, Hillary said going through the motions of their breakup was one of the hardest things ever. She told E! News that she was a wreck for the next year and a half, and she didn't enjoy being single at all. She also had to see photos of Joel and Nicole out partying all over Hollywood, and Hillary couldn't believe how much he had changed. She told Seventeen Magazine, All of the going out he did after we broke up sort of shocked me. Like, that's just so out of character for him. And when we were together, he hated stuff like that. So I felt like I don't really know him as well as I thought I did. Um, Hillary. Girl, maybe Joel was staying at home when he was with you because you weren't old enough to get into the clubs. No shade, but, mm, yeah. 
Hillary eventually found love again when she married hockey player Mike Comrie in 2010. They welcomed their son in 2012 and announced their separation in 2014. As soon as the news of their separation hit the web, guess who came creeping around the corner? Aaron. After retweeting a glamour shot of Hillary, Aaron tweeted, Don't be that stupid douche that loses the love of your life forever. Like me. Then he added, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to better myself to get back to her. I don't care what any of you think. Yeah, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I wish her best of luck. And, you know, she knows that I'll always love her. Hillary said his public declaration made her feel a little uncomfortable, especially since she was still legally married at the time. And in the end, she wasn't interested in rekindling things with Aaron. On November 5, 2022, Aaron was pronounced deceased at the age of 34. In an Instagram post, Hillary wrote, You had a charm that was absolutely effervescent. Boy, did my teenage self love you deeply. She started dating singer and songwriter Matthew Coma in 2015. After an on-again, off-again relationship, they got married in 2019. As of this video, they share two children. In February 2022, Hillary and Matthew were photographed on a group date with Joel and Nicole. And while taking a lie detector test for Vanity Fair, she was asked if it was important for her to stay friends with her exes. Hillary said, I do enjoy being friends with him now, 100%, but I don't need to be friends with all my exes. So there you have it. Holly Weird is just as weird as ever. And Hillary and Joel's unconventional and illegal romance is just one of the many relationships that the industry has turned a blind eye to. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow us on TikTok for more content, like daily news updates and mini documentaries. And as always, thanks for watching RRG.